Hey fam, so I just wanted to come on real quick and um, let everybody know. I just wanted to do like a tarot update this day. Um, I've heard that there is an energy exchange happening right now from I believe the 8th into the 13th. So I just wanted to do a quick reading and pull a card or so to see um, what they're saying because apparently a lot of people have been saying how tired they are um and like running eyes and not able to sleep there's a lot going on and i believe it's because of what's happening right now there's an energy exchange happening right now and i thought i just had a really bad sinus attack you can't hear it let's see I'm not muted. Can you hear now? Better? It might be the phone. I have it turned up as loud as it can go. Can you hear it now? Hi, Johari. <laughs> okay, so um, I was just saying that uh, there's an energy exchange happening, and I just wanted to read a couple cards or pull a card and see what's happening with that. So if you've never seen me do tarot or if you've never had a tarot, this is my book. I read from this book every single time I um, I read the cards. I don't care if I've read it a thousand times. I don't care. Like this book is so worn through, but I read it every time that a card is pulled because it says something different for me every time or I'll get something different from it. And this is, this is my deck. So I've already shuffled the deck. And so now I'm just going to see what comes out. Oh, and they're already falling out. Let's just see what's happening. Right, that one came through. Let me put that one there. Let's see if anything else comes out. So this is January eighth, I believe. So let's let's see. So we'll see what they say. So the first card I pulled <clears throat> the sword in reverse. It's the six of swords. I believe that's the six. It's in reverse, so let me just make sure. <laughs> So if you've never um, done tarot or heard tarot or anything like that, um, the Swords Suite deals with um, your social interactions, your personal interactions, um, intellectual matters, things that are important to you. They deal with aggression and, and those type of feelings. Oh no, it's the Eight of Swords. All right, so this is in reverse. So it's just saying that a lot of people, there's a lot of confusion and um, poor decision making happening now. So um, people are, are feeling clouded and they're making decisions based off of how they feel instead of actually I'm looking at the facts of what's in front of them. <clears throat> so where's the nine of swords? I'm nervous, I don't usually read online. Like it's easier for me to do this face to face so I get everything mixed up. <laughs> so this is the nine. <laughs> All right, so they're saying with this card because it's reversed, they're saying that you need to um, write things down and, and think things over clearly. Don't make a decision based off of how you feel or what's happening in the moment. Like you might feel like you need to 
respond or react a certain way, but reacting and responding, you know, like if you if you take a minute and you react to it um, versus responding to it, then you'll find out that had you just waited a second and let your, your energy and your temper cool down a little bit, you would have been able to make a better decision. So you're, you're going to regret some things if you don't um, if you don't take the time to think about what's being said. If somebody is angry or upset with you, don't get angry or upset in return. I know like the, the common reaction is usually to, to respond immediately and come back at them immediately. Um, but they're doing the same thing. And if you guys are mirroring each other, then you're never going to get anywhere. So make sure you take the time to think about things that are being said. If you need to walk away from a situation and calm down and then come back to it and address it, um, do that. It's always better. It's always better than your first response, which is to probably be upset or angry in return. And this goes for everything right now. This goes for your home life, your, your work life, your school life. This goes for everything. Any businesses that you're trying to build, People are going to have their own opinions. They're going to have their own challenges and their own thoughts and things like that. And sometimes they don't know that they're not controlling their emotions either. So it's not so much about controlling your emotions. It's about how you respond to them. So make sure that you are responding in the correct way and not reacting out of anger or aggression. <clears throat> okay, so the next card... Let me find it first. Okay, so the next card. I don't know if you can see it. Six of Wands. Okay, so um, the Wand Suite deals with your personal growth. Um, Anything, any endeavors you're looking to undertake, it's it's your energy, your um, your physical energy, your spiritual energy, your mental energy, your your growth in in particular in certain areas in your life. So, the six of wands upright says um, competition brings out the best in you, but don't be afraid to ask questions. And apologies are in the stars, and so kind of tying this in with this sword. This reverse sword card, if you've said something to somebody and now you need to apologize for it, please do that. Like it'll just, it'll diffuse the tension and you'll feel better even if they won't. So this right here says that it's okay to be competitive in certain things. It's fine to go after what you want. Do that. Totally do that. But don't do it at the expense of somebody else's feelings or somebody else's emotions or at your own um at your own feelings and emotions like don't don't take things so personally that you can't come back from it or just be like okay well i i probably should have thought about this better and i, I apologize for this um and don't be afraid to ask questions if somebody says something or if there's something going on um on in your life or around you and you're uncertain about what's happening you're trying to figure out okay well where is this coming from what is happening exactly with this like where are you getting this because sometimes people get confused and they'll respond they'll make things up in their mind or things that they feel like you know you've done or whatever so clear some stuff up ask questions figure out what it is that's happening what it is that's actually being said and then move from that place because um, there's a lot of confusion going on right now because of this energy exchange. So I, I already mentioned that people are feeling cloudy and kind of, you know, all over the place. A lot of people are feeling tired, stress. Stress is like super high right now. It's been high for the last two years, but stress is so high right now and people are tired. Everyone is mentally, physically, emotionally, all of the lees. They're all, everybody's tired and everybody's feeling the stress and the strain of what's happening. So somebody has to be the level headed. And if it's you, then it's you. Usually it's you. So you just have to take that with a grain of salt and, and just move from there. So don't be afraid to apologize. Go after the things you want, but don't do it in a way in which um, you're going to like step all over somebody else. 
So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna shuffle these one more time, and I'm gonna pull one more card. Actually, two more cards because I'm gonna pull from the bottom of the deck, but this one came out. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So Pentacles um, deals with money. It deals with things, all things involving money, your finances, um, what's happening with your job or your career or just your money situation in general, um, materialistic things, things that you maybe want to buy or like purchases for the future, things like that. So it's in reverse. So this says, mm, stop overspending. Stop overspending. Cut back on the things that you want to buy in order to save the money for the things that you actually need to buy. This is not the time right now for you to um, splurge. This is not the time for that. Um, you want to start looking at at the bottom line of, of what you're actually trying to accomplish. So if that's you, stop overspending. So um, you need to make a list of things that you are looking to buy for the future if these are pricely things or things that you know you're going to need to save for don't spend right now with all the, these little things only buy necessities right now and you gotta be disciplined about that you're gonna have to make some sacrifices otherwise when time comes for you to actually need this car or this house or whatever big purchase that you're looking to make even if it does, if you don't feel like it's that big of a purchase and you can just get it whenever the economy right now is doing some weird things. OK, so you want to be able to save as much money as you can and invest it where you need to. Don't just go out buying all of these things that you don't need. OK, the knight in reverse, knight of pentacles says stop spending your money. Stop spending it. Um, if you know there are things that you can cut out, do it. Cut them out, be disciplined about it, and just go ahead and, and, and be fine with being in the house. Don't take elaborate trips right now. This is not the time for that. That time will come later when you've done the things that you need to do in order to accumulate the, the money that you need for your life. Okay? This is not the time. I, don't, I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> this is not the time for overspending money anything save everything that you possibly can if you don't need to buy it look at it and think are you going to have this in your house just sitting around for the next three years are you even going to use it or is it just an impulse buy so that you can feel better about this situation right now that's happening or that you're running from you can't do it you can't do it you got to be disciplined and and stop buying stop going out stop eating out and, and going to the bar and spending all of these tons of money on these things that you really don't need anyway. This is not the time for it. Okay. And so the last card that I pulled <laughs> from the bottom of the deck is also Pinnacles. <clears throat> it's the Pinnacles, Page of Pinnacles in reverse. So Pinnacles deals with money. Um, so this this card is saying that you are secretly afraid of succeeding basically so if you see this card upright see he's kind of walking the rope okay so this means that he's in control all right when it's reversed it's the opposite way now he's going to fall off of it he's going to fall off of this of his rope because he doesn't feel like he's in control anymore so it's it's you 
It's you. You have to um, be a little bit more confident about what it is that you're looking to accomplish. If you're afraid that you won't succeed, you're not going to succeed. And that's just all it is. Don't be afraid because you think that someone else is, is doing better than you or going to come along and take your place. It's not about competition. It's, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of competition, but the only competition is between you and yourself. It doesn't worry. It doesn't matter about anybody else. So don't worry about other people. If you're secretly afraid that you want this huge goal, you like made this vision for yourself and you think that it's not going to work out, it's not going to work out. So this comes back to your mindset. So you have to um, make sure that you're not thinking the wrong things to yourself. If you're feeling like that, get some paper, write it down, write down everything that you're afraid of and then take it and burn it, get rid of it. And then write a new sheet of paper with everything that you hope to accomplish and succeed in. It doesn't matter how outrageous you think the list is. Sit there and write it out. Everything you want. Okay? And then don't be afraid of going after it. Because if you're afraid of going after it, who's stopping, who's stopping the process? You are. You're the only person stopping the process. So don't be afraid of, of extending yourself further. <laughs> Apparently, this is the year to be uncomfortable, okay? So you need to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So stop stopping yourself. This is your year for everything. Stop getting in your way. Stop thinking secretly in the back of your mind that you want it, but you want it. But every time you say, I want it, but, or I don't think, or any of those things, you are stopping yourself from moving forward. It's like you want it. You've asked the universe for it. And then you're moving towards it and then you go, but, and you step back three, four steps. You can't stop doing that to yourself. It's stressful. And there's enough stress happening right now in our life already. We don't need it. So basically all four of these cards are saying, stop doubting yourself. Don't overspend your money. Don't react right now. People are confused. People are stressed out. Okay, so if somebody comes at you on in a wrong way, don't automatically react to that. Take a minute and respond. Apologize to people if you need to. It's, it's good to humble yourself and, and to be the person that says, I could have did that differently. I apologize. And the other people, they're not going to see that coming. And they will appreciate that. And then it'll make them take a step back and be like, oh, okay, well, Maybe I could have done something differently as well. Be the bigger person. I hate that saying. I hate that saying, but it's so necessary and it's so true. So that's what I wanted to say for today. Actually, for the next, this will hold for the next month, especially the spending part and the holding yourself back part. Make a list of things that you want to do so you stop holding yourself back. This is not the time for it. And stop overspending your money. Cannot stress that enough. Okay, so thank you for the people who joined me, um, and I hope um, everybody got some information that they needed from this, and I'm glad that I did this, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.